Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to do some motion tracking in Sony Vegas Movie Studio using keyframes and pan and crop. Let me show you what I mean. On this video clip here that I have on the top line, if you watch it, you'll notice a man on a bicycle right around the screen while other things are going on. And we're going to play that just so you can see what's going on. You see, he comes on the screen, and he goes down here in the back, and then he circles around this policeman. And other things come on the screen. And he kind of goes out of view back there. And then in a minute, he's going to come back in the screen. And what we want to do is that we want to zoom in on him and track him throughout the progress. Let me show you what I mean by that. Play it again. But this time, you're going to see the results of my track motion. So there he is. He's in full view. He's zoomed in. He moves down around the policeman. The camera zooms in on him. He comes back into view. He's still in the center of the screen. He zooms right back toward where we were. And he's still in the screen. Now, if you compare that to the first video, you'll see that his small image and he goes off screen a couple of places and other people come on the screen. So what we want to do is we want to track him just like we did in that second video that we watched. I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mute the video that we, where we had the track motion. Then we're going to add the track motion to this video track where he's small on the screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in right there where he comes on the screen. And we're going to use pan and crop to do that. We click event pan and crop. And on event pan and crop, one of the things that we want to do right here is we want to sync cursor. You have to click that icon to sync cursor. And that's very important. And once you click that icon, whatever you do on the screen here is going to be at the same place on the timeline where you have your pointer. So let's zoom in on them. And put them large on the screen right there. So that's where we're going to start out, right there on the screen. So we close that. We go back and we play it. See, he's zoomed in right there. And he's kind of going away from us right there. Let's get the camera to follow him. And to do that again, we hit pan and crop. And notice the cursor is now over here. And that's because we synced the cursor. So we'll move our window over. And we'll zoom in to where he is. And then we'll close pan and crop. And again, we'll start from the beginning. Notice that the camera is now following him as he goes off screen. There he goes right there. And then he turns around. And you know when he turns around, I'd like to zoom in on him right there. So to do that, I'm going to hit pan and crop again. And again, our cursor is synced up with what we see on the screen. So I'm going to zoom in. And since I know he's going to move this way, I think I'll just leave my zoom right there. And we'll start again from the beginning. Our camera is following him. He's going back toward the crowd. He's circling around the policeman. He's going out of view right there, which I don't like, right there where he went out of view. So I'm going to click Pan and Crop. And you see where he's out of view? Let's move our window over so that he's always in view. And, and now that we've zoomed him, let's go back from the beginning and see if we're following him the way we want. There he is right there in the center of our screen. He goes around the policeman. He's going to go off screen. Nope, we got him. Notice how the camera is moving now. And now our camera looks like it's pulling back. I don't really like that. We'll stay up there with him. So we hit pan and crop again. And you see what I'm doing? I'm moving camera moves to go with him using the pan and crop to simulate a camera. So there we are zooming. And we'll go back to the beginning and watch it again. Again, you, it is uh, a little bit tedious, but you get to see what you're doing. And just like you're operating the camera as you move it through. There he is going off screen. Uh, he, our camera is going to zoom in on him right here as he comes toward the camera. Look, we're pulling back because he's heading toward the camera. And there he goes off screen. So we've done pretty good. Now, there's only one part in there that I didn't like. I'll show you what part that was, and we can fix that. Right here, he tends to go off screen, going off to the left. And I don't like that. I think I'll just have the camera following him off to the left and maybe zoom in just a bit on him just so that he's still in the center of the screen. So let's play that again, see what it looks like. Going down, going to go down around the policeman. Notice the camera is following him, and he doesn't go off screen. And he comes around, and he comes back toward us. The camera is staying on him. He's looking behind him, and then he's going to ride off screen. So with all that motion on the screen, we were able to track him. And the way we were tracking him is to use the pan and crop feature and keyframes. And I'll show you what all the keyframes look like. We started here at this keyframe, and then we moved to this keyframe, and this keyframe, and this keyframe. 
And you know, if we had to do all these manually, it would have been a pain. But because we went over here and clicked the sync cursor first, it meant that while we were watching the video on the screen, we could stop anywhere we wanted to put the keyframe in the pan and crop by clicking the pan and crop window, and it automatically put the keyframe there. So this is really nice to know how to do, especially if you're in a situation where you have sports videos or you have some other type of videos where you need to follow the action on the screen. Anyway, I thought you might be interested in seeing how this is done. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find a lot more like this at my website, www bmyers.com and you can find a whole lot more in my 100 tips and tricks for sunny movie studio which is now available at amazon as well as my website